くない<笑>Checking, we are in Kyoto right now. This is the first city in our itinerary, and this is the very first day. Uh, this is the proper first day. We landed yesterday, which was Sunday, and we traveled in the morning, which was exhausting because we were tired for the uh, jet lag and the long flight, and we were sleep deprived. So. We have a bit of a hard start, but we landed uh, in Kansai airport and we went through, went straight to the Fushiminari Taisha, uh, which is incredible. Of course, I love the temple. It's uh, the temple, the shrine, of course, is Inari shrines, and I, I do love it. But it was packed with people, and so it was very hard to move around and to properly see everything. Also, the Tori Gallery was very, very slow to, to travel through thousands of tourists was a very exhausting a very exhausting place after that we went to visit a small uh, sake factory here in tokyo here in kyoto which is no longer active as a production here but they have a very small muse museum and they will let you taste some sake but of course we were all very exhausted and none of none of us tried anything so yesterday we went back to the hotel, we, we dealt with some practical situations and then we had dinner and we went to bed. Well today we had a full day and I guess it was a bit of an improvement and we went in different temples and shrines, actually only temples today, we visited the Kinkakuji which is the golden pavilion, which is a Buddhist, a Zen Buddhist temple and it's probably one of the most famous uh, pictures of Japan, one of the most famous uh, buildings here. And then we went to, we have a full um, visit there, and then we went to the Ryoanji, which is another very, very popular uh, Zen temple. And it's quite popular because of the Zen garden that they have inside, and the whole path that you have to take uh, without with your barefoot with a barefoot uh, without the shoes uh, all around uh, the temple and finally we went in the morning to the Nijojo which is the Nijo castle 
which was one uh, of the most important castle in the city and this, it was the castle of the shogun so the Tokugawa family built uh, a palace here in order to control the emperor and uh, the emperor was still living here so it was a, a means of control over the imperial power and of course this place is uh, is forbidden any picture here is forbidden so I don't have any records of the place uh, except for the outside but it's very beautiful to, to follow the, the path inside because you also have some um, painting some some areas that are rebuilt as they were during Tokugawa era and you also have some um, small statues that will help you understand how the, 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 the life inside the castle actually was. So after that we had lunch and in the afternoon we went to uh, Gion Quarter and uh, as probably everyone knows Gion is the geisha quarter and now um, everyone every every time uh, someone says geisha the topic is quite complicated and there is a huge debate over the profession and huge debate over the actual meaning of this woman in the Japanese society and again this time a lot of people uh, were quite curious actually both of the reason for a girl to become a geisha and the actual profession so did this does this profession entail sex with a client or not and how is it possible that they are just paid uh, they are paid just to perform so it was a very interesting debate and topic and uh, we went visiting from the yasaka dera yasaka temple and we walked through the main street very commercial street that uh, goes toward the river and then we arrived to the Gion street and we we walked there for a bit then of course that was the London dinner time and the day was now over now it's uh, uh, I believe 11 p.m. here almost but of course uh, I never spent a lot of time in, in Kyoto so for me this is um, interesting because even if I saw already some of these places it's a new way to uh, discover them and to enrich my knowledge of the place so tomorrow we have I guess two very important temples which I have them up here of course you see so today we went here in Kafuji and then we went down to the Ryohanji, which is here, so we are very close, we could have walked actually, but we have a bus and we took the bus. And we went to the Nijo castle, which is quite central in the city, so we move a lot from here. And um, we, we have to visit tomorrow two very beautiful temples, and one is the I don't know if Kiyomizudera, which is here, and of course, again, probably one of the most uh, popular pictures of Japan. And then <coughs> we have this one, which is the Sanju Sangendo. I don't know if you can see it now. But again, this is very important here and not that renowned probably not as much as the Kiyomizu or the Fujimi Nari Jinja and this is a temple consecrated to uh, Kannon Sama so it's a Buddhist temple consecrated to this Bodhisattva in particular and it's an incredible view because when you enter inside you have a thousand and one statues of Kannon they are beautiful really really beautiful breathtaking and then in the afternoon there will be a bit of a movement in the program because we could we can choose between a tea ceremony here in Kyoto or the, the other option is to take a train and visit Nara just in the afternoon and um, they're both great options so we will have to pick one in in the during the day 
and then we will leave for Hiroshima and so Kyoto will be a delightful memory. Now, of course I will take you with me and thanks for watching.